John from FlyMikeAlpha.com. Today I'm here to talk to you about a normal takeoff and a tailwheel aircraft. First thing we're going to be doing is holding the stick all the way back before we get rolling here. Our feet are on the brakes, throttles at idle, and our stick is all the way back, pinning the tail to the ground. And that's our number one priority in a tailwheel aircraft most of the time. Now here's where it gets a little different. We're going to do this takeoff roll, and the number one priority during the takeoff roll is to safely get the tail flying up in the air and the nose a little bit lower so the tail is higher off the ground, the tail wheel is free of the ground. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and get lined up on the runway as I normally would, add full power, and after I add full power, shortly thereafter, I'm pushing the stick nearly full forward enough to get the tail up off the ground as soon as possible and holding the tail up in the air until I see about 50 miles per hour and then rotating and climbing out at 55 to 60 in on our in our Aronka Champ. Now, obviously the speed's different for different tailwheel aircraft, but the number one priority is holding the airplane on the ground, pushing forward until it's ready to fly. They will fly off sooner than they're ready kind of flying off in ground effect, and if you continue to climb with that attitude out of ground effect, you will settle back down to the ground. So, especially in a low power tailor crafts, Aronka Champ, something like that, you want to make sure that you have adequate speed before leaving ground effect, better yet, have adequate speed before you leave the ground. Let's go ahead and make our departure call here. Venice traffic, Silver Champ, departing runway 23, Venice traffic. All right, so as I taxi onto the runway here, I'm still pinning my tail to the ground. As we get lined up here, I'm making sure my feet are completely clear of the brakes. Most important thing being completely clear of the brakes when you're taking off or landing in a tailwheel aircraft. Sticks to neutral, I'm going to go ahead and add full power here. As I add full power, I'm going to push forward on the stick and the tail up right away. As the tail comes up, the airplane wants to go left, I counteract with right rudder. There's airspeed, and I'm off. So, it happens very quickly. We're just climbing out at 55 to 60. Now, when things start going wrong during that takeoff roll, one of the best things you can do is get the aircraft in the air. If you get it off the ground, it becomes a lot easier to handle. It becomes just a regular airplane at that point, not a tailwheel airplane that's trying to turn around on you. And at that point, you could go ahead and just hold in ground effect until you acquire appropriate speed and then climb out normally and fly it like a regular airplane. You can see that in the Rocket Champ, and most of these old tailwheel airplanes are incredibly stable. They can fly themselves pretty much. It's really just you that's going to upset the aircraft, and you have to account for that. So let's take another look at that takeoff roll here. Where exactly is the stick during the takeoff roll? Well, first we get lined up with the runway, and once we're lined up, then I stop hitting the tail to the ground, and I go to stick neutral on this Aronka Champ in this particular airplane. Then, ease the red knob forward all the way to full power, and immediately as I raise it to full power, I push the stick forward to raise my tail up off the ground and make sure the aircraft sticks to the runway. When I have adequate airspeed, I just pull the stick back ever so slightly or quit pushing forward so much the airplane pops right up off the ground. Happens very quickly. You achieve rotation speed very quickly in this airplane. It's rotated about 50 miles per hour and climb out at 55 to 60, so it's a very light, easy airplane to get up off the ground. But the most important thing is just keep that stick forward, keep the weight of the wheels, keep the weight of the aircraft on the ground until she's ready to fly off, and it makes it a whole heck of a lot easier. When it gets a little squirrely, just pull that stick back ever so slightly, let the nose raise, and let her pop off the ground and fly her like a regular airplane. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.